Check it out. Check it out. Look at this. I'm basically a mechanic. <laughs> Hey guys, so I walked out to my car a couple days ago, or one day last week, and this happened. My handle came off when I went to go open my door. Of course, this happened a couple months after I paid my car off. Just congratulations to me, but I mean, isn't that typical? Anyway, this is how I fixed it for $10 and some change, a borrowed tool, and less than 30 minutes of my time. So I hope you find this helpful and let's get into it all right so ignore <laughs> ignore how dirty my car is i wash it once a week and it's two days before i'm supposed to wash it okay so even if you're gonna go get it repaired professionally and you you don't you know spending that hundred dollars or so isn't a big deal it's probably going to be a few days before you can schedule to do that maybe and if you order it off amazon to do yourself like which is what i'm going to show you today then you're going to have to wait at least like a couple of days even with amazon prime so if you don't feel like crawling in through the passenger seat you can do this if you have some electrical wire or even a thick but bendable hanger, you can actually make this super temporary handle. So all you have to do, you can see it's twisted right here. All you have to do is kind of loop it into a little hook and you might need some pliers to help you pull it back out, but you basically make like a little U and you put it in, I should have brought a flashlight or something, but basically you put it in and hook it around the spot, which is what the handle usually pulls. And then you pull it through and you can twist it twisted it around here to secure it like that. This side, you can see it's just kind of hanging out. So you mainly want to just pull from here. And when you do this, it opens. You can just open your door. So that's a super temporary fix until you get the handle to actually fix it. So this is the handle that was on my door that uh, you saw in the picture at the beginning. Oh, hello, I didn't think you'd see me, but there's my reflection. This is the original handle, and this is what I actually purchased off Amazon. So you can see, mine has a keyhole. I will link this one that I ended up going with in the description and in the pinned comment. I wanna say that it almost feels like it's it's better quality and kind of higher quality and, and a little bit more weight to it than this one that actually is stock on my car and came off my car. So all you're gonna need is a correct replacement handle that I will link in the description below. If you have a 2011 Nissan Rogue, which is what I have, then this will definitely work for you. Um, but just double check, I can't remember if this was an Amazon listing that had kind of different options to choose. But just make sure, I mean, just look at your car. Look at your car, make sure that you choose, it's mainly just this piece that might be different depending on the year or model. So all you're gonna need to repair it for yourself is this right here, this duo of pieces, which was $10, and this tool right here. I wanna say it's called a star wrench. So let's go ahead and replace ambitiously. This is a, clearly a first time, hopefully only attempt at me ever doing this, but if I can do it, anybody watching can absolutely do this. So be confident in yourself. So in opening the door, you see this little nub right here. It's right on the inside of the door, my hot door that <laughs> it's like 90 degrees outside. But all you have to do is pop this off, which you can use a flat wrench. You can probably easily pop it off with your fingers, but I have this weird thing about my nails potentially bending back and it's like like ugh, the same as scratching them on a chalkboard for me. So I'm just gonna grab a flat wrench and pop this off. Bonus hack, I didn't even need a, a a flat wrench. I just found this coupon in my in my car and I folded it to make it like a oops, there we go. To make it like a, a thicker cardstock and kind of pried it back there and it popped off. So there you go. So you gotta pop that off and you can see right here there is a socket. I believe that's called a socket. Doesn't really matter. You can see what it looks like. That's what matters. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off this very bougie door handle because I'm not sure if that's gonna interfere with the rest of this process. All right, handle is off. So now what I'm gonna do is take my star wrench, star hex something tool, and we are going to undo this little piece right here. But it's really important, there's, there's a chance that it can drop and fall through. So I have to be really careful. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe get a tripod to make this easier.
Okay, so this came off and I mean, this is still good. I don't, I don't even know if I needed a replacement of this. Let's, let's compare it with the other one. They look exactly the same. Yeah, they're exactly the same and my current one was still fine, but I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway, just because it did come with the handle. So let's take a look at the two handles. Obviously, you wanna take off the covering from this one before putting it on. Ooh, look at how shiny and pretty and new. <laughs> so here's a comparison of the two handles. Bottom is the new one I'm gonna put on and replace. Top one is the old one. Ah, and here's where we can see what happened. Here, here is the difference. This is a new, hopefully you could see. But see the end of it here? This is a new one. So it has all of this happening. And here's the old one. You can see that end isn't there it just broke off looks like it broke off so that's that's what caused it that is what caused my handle to pop off when i pulled at it here's a little side by side so yeah if you pulled off your handle and it looks like this one right here this will work for you this this replacement approach so we are going to go ahead and put this one in the car the sunlight is working in our favor you can see this little hook right there and that's what the wire was hooked onto and and hooked around to be able to pull that's what opens the door so the reason why we had to undo this piece is because we kind of need to pull it out in order to put the handle in and behind that hook this piece right here that's what we need and that's what needs to hook behind this black piece right here so let's go ahead and do that and i'm also going to put the silver thing back on this piece because I think once we do that we just tighten that screw up and we'll be finished. So I am going to put my finger right here to make sure this screw doesn't fall and I'm going to pull this out again. New handle. We're going to make sure that it is slid into this properly. And hooks behind that hook there we go so let me put that silver piece on here back on its home where it wants to go there we go let me unscrew this screw a little bit that's on the side here pull it back let me kind of gotta push these two things in at the same time. Door handle looks set. <gasps> you guys, I think we're doing it. There we go. Let me make sure this piece is pushed back where it wants to be. Now we are going to tighten this side screw back up. Pretty sure it's tightening. It's taking a minute. Oh, there we go. Now we just pop this, this bad boy back on, this little cap. Super easy. And now, let's test her out. Cross your fingers. All right, moment of truth. <gasps> you guys, I did it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, <gasps> we did it. All right, guys, <laughs> success. So there you go, there we have it. This is how you repair your car door handle and save like $100 or however much it costs, at least on a Nissan Rogue. Yes, I'll link this door handle in the description below. You could see you, you didn't even need this piece. I didn't even need that piece. Please make sure to click the thumbs up if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, if you're gonna try this yourself, especially if this worked for you, leave me a comment, let me know. I'm very, very excited about this and yeah, yeah, I hope you like this random hack slash DIY, which I do post from time to time if you're new to this channel. If you want to join the Cat Lady Fitness family, then make sure to click the subscribe button below. This was so easy. I think it took maybe 20 minutes, no more than 30 minutes. And honestly, that's probably because I was trying to film it at the same time. So yeah, you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.